Hi guys, please allow me to show you killing Yorm without using the Storm Ruler. And of course, because I'm a man, we're going to do it with my shirt off. Let's get him. Oh, also, no shields. Shields are for wolves. Bring it on, Yorm. Give me what you got, big man. So a couple things about Yorm. Best thing to do is to kind of uh, dodge some attacks and then bait out this. When you do, you want to hit him in the face. Yorm's weakness is being hit in the head. To do so, uh, I suggest using something with decent overhead attack, kind of like this Cathedral Knight Great Sword that I'm using. Any Ultra Great Sword with a good uh, downward overhead swing is uh, pretty good for it. And, uh, yeah, pretty much the uh, strategy is to get a little bit close to him. Not too close, though, otherwise he'll do a different kind of thing. And bait him to continue doing that. And after a few times of doing this, I think one more time of hitting him in the face, and we'll be there. Let's see. Eh, he'll stagger. And then you can get some damage in and throw in a repost and get the big damage. And heck, even throwing another hit, why not? Whoop. Whoa, bad roll. Good job, me. Hey. Yorm, come on, bro. Come on, bro, let me heal a little bit. Thanks, man. Right in the face again. Well, that was dumb. That was double dumb. That was super double dumb, taking a couple hits like that. Anyway, you, uh, yeah, this is the basic strategy for Yorm. You just gotta hit him in the face a few times. Yorm's face is his weakness. Otherwise, you just uh, roll around and uh, dodge. Unless you're bad like me, and then you get hit a few times like a dummy. Like a big dumb dummy. That's what happens if you're a little too close to him, is he'll uh, stomp on the floor, do that, instead of slamming his machete into the ground. Wow, what? Why can't I roll? Probably because I'm talking. Alright, Yorm, come on. Come on, buddy, I need you to just slam that machete straight down into the ground. Right now? There you go, buddy. Just need you to do that a couple more times, big guy. Come on, big guy. Here's what we'll do. We'll get him off of that set of steps. Come here. Come here, Yorm. Come on, buddy. Come on. That's a good giant. And uh, you can take little pot shots on him after some hits if you want to, to speed up the process a bit. Yorm's legs will never uh, stagger him. However, if you do hit him in the hands, you can stagger him that way too. Oh, the easiest way is just through the head. I keep getting hit by that. Ah, ho ho, the follow up. Come on, Yorm. I'm not asking a lot from you. Just keep slamming that machete into the ground. There we go. And uh, make sure to hit him in the head when you go for this before the repost because it's a nice little bit of extra damage. And phase two. Oh, If this was a fully upgraded weapon, this would go by a lot faster. Unfortunately, it's uh, only a plus six. I really wish this was fully upgraded, and then you guys could see exactly how fast you can actually kill Yorm without uh, without the Storm Ruler. Storm Ruler makes it a much easier fight, that's for sure. He was going to do the follow-up. What a jerk. Hit him in the head again. Never stop hitting him in the head. Yorm, Yorm, lay down. It's time for your nappy nap. I was a little too close to him there.
Well, it was, it's been real, Yorm, but goodbye. And that's how you kill Yorm without using the Storm Roller. Easy freaking peasy. Don't let anyone tell you you don't have to do it with the Storm Roller. Storm Roller's useless. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little bonus video of killing Yorm without the Storm Roller. Who needs a gimmick weapon anyway? We did it! Yeah! And, uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. So, bye bye everyone